Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we got some random action figures we're going to be reviewing today. First on the list, we got something I got from Steel City Con, and this is the Yukio Duel Monster. You would probably not know him if you're not a Yukio fan like I am. This is Black Luster Soldier. He's missing his sword and shield and he's got a broken part like right up in here. If I ever find a complete version of this, I might just replace it. But otherwise, a good looking figure. Not bad for what I got for it from Still City Con. Next, we got some little TMNT figures. These don't have any articulation. We got Donatello. Little, tiny Donatello. We got a Raphael holiday ornament because Christmas is just around the corner after Thanksgiving. Why not? Next on the list, we got some Paw Patrol. And the only reason I got this Paw Patrol item was because... Marshall's a little Dalmatian firefighter dog, and I got this vehicle to go with him on my random vehicle shelf. And I remember watching 101 Dalmatians. I just love those cute dogs from 101 Dalmatians. And this is a not bad looking Dalmatian dog. Marshall is definitely a cute little dog. And he's a firefighter dog. Aww. And the truck does have some gimmicks. I don't, I think so, but I can't make them work given how tight this thing is. A little paw print for Paw Patrol right on the uh, part of the truck. So, yeah, a really nice painted fire truck with Marshall. Why not? Yeah, I say why not. And that's all there is to say for that little Paw Patrol item. We got one final Paw Patrol item. And this is that Ryder kid from Paw Patrol. The only reason I got him, because he has a cool-looking biker helmet, and that's why I picked him up. And he's got some articulation for an action figure of his size. Not much, but he's got some. So yeah, he can get some articulated poses. Not many. Due to he doesn't have any elbows or knees. That's the only problem I have with these Paw Patrol characters. They don't have as much articulation as I would like to see in a figure. Next. Ooh, ooh. Sorry about that. My tripod thing is very loose. So a lot of fussing is going to happen on this tripod. Next, we got the Man of Steel himself. I think this is from the Man of Steel Superman movie. So we got... Superman! Dun, 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 and yes, I love Superman that I got like several figures of him. This is my third Superman action figure. The other one being a fast food toy. So now I got three Supermans in my collection. Up, up, and away. Superman. Arms are articulated. It does get an elbow joint, but it's so tight, it's hard to move his elbow without breaking it because this is an old figure and he's tight in places. No ankle hinge right here, which would have been great with this figure. He does get some knee bends, but it's a tight knee bend, and I'm afraid I'm going to break this Superman. But he's really well sculpted, really well painted. I love how he turned out when they released this figure. But yeah, he's a nice looking Superman that you can get for, for what you can find it at the Goodwill outlet or any other Goodwill. If you can find this particular Superman... He is worth adding to your Superman collection because I like Superman. Next on the list, we got these little horses and this knight figure I got with the horse. And this is going to go on my 
Lord of the Rings Helm's Deep display. So yeah, this guy's got some sick looking armor. Nice looking helmet. I think these guys are Imagine X. This horse is Imagine X. Otherwise, a good looking horse. Otherwise, he's got some wheels, so you can totally roll him. Because see, he goes off on its own on his horse. Ain't that cool? The last horse we got here, we have another one of those weird, not Imagine X figures riding it. And he's got a bow and arrow built into the horse so he can go, I'm riding into battle, shooting arrows off at my enemies. Charge! And I love some medieval toys. And these are worthwhile toys if you can find them for a good price. I love Yukio, I love TMNT, and I love some Justice League figures. Superman, Batman, I just love anything figure-wise that just pops out at me. The Paw Patrol is okay. Not my cup of tea, but they're pretty cool for what they are, and I got them for by the pound. Definitely going to be, be part of the collection. And that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.